writers. I'm here with Hoppy and it's a rainy day in Maine. And so to learn a little bit, Hoppy and I have been watching lots of teaching videos. And we just saw a teaching video that Mrs. B did about writing a letter to her future self. We loved the, the so much that we decided to write one today. And we wanted to share that video with you. So you're gonna watch her lesson and then I will share a little bit of what I wrote with all of you. Hi writers, it's Mrs. B, and I'm here again with another idea about of something that you can write in your Learning at Home Together journal. Today I thought it would be fun to focus on writing letters to our future self. This came off of our original menu of ideas that we talked about when I was thinking over here about writing letters. And if you'll remember, I said that one of the things that you could do is you could write a letter to your future self, or you could write letters to other people. Um, but I thought to, for today, we would focus on writing letters to our future self. Now, it's important to remember that the reason why we're doing all of this work is so that we can remember what it's like to live at this moment in time when we're learning at home and we're all away from school. And writing to your future self is something that's always really interesting to do, um, but it makes it especially especially fun to do this and interesting to do this right now because we're definitely creating a document um, in our journals that we can look back at 5, 10, 15, 25, maybe even 50 years from now when we can look back and see what it was like to live at this moment in time. So if we want to think about writing to our future self, here are some things that I thought would be good to include. The first thing that I would want to include in my letter to my future self would be my age. How old am I right now? If I'm in, if I'm a kid, I would want to write what grade I'm in right now. So anything that describes where I am at this moment in my life. I would also want to tell myself things that I like to do at this moment in time. Okay, and when I think about things I like to do, it makes me think about favorites. What are some of your favorite things right now? Um, maybe, and these are some ideas of some categories of favorites. There's many, many more, but here's some that I came up with. What are your favorite movies? What are your favorite songs? It's very possible that the song that's your most favorite song right now won't be the same song as when you are a grown up. And it'll be fun to look back and remember what was the song that you really liked when you were a kid at this moment in time. What are your favorite foods? I think this is a really an interesting thing to write because I know looking back when I was a kid, you could not have paid me to eat a tomato. I thought they were the absolute, wor absolute worst. And now tomatoes, mmm, totally love them. So things do change over time and it's interesting to see how you are different as an adult than when you were as a kid. It might be interesting to write down some of your favorite books, okay? Maybe some favorite friends. Who are the people that you most like to spend time with? Okay. Favorite subject. What's the thing in school that you really, really are excited about? Mine was always reading, which is probably no surprise to you. I also really loved art class, and I still do love creating. Maybe you have a favorite sport that you like to play. And maybe there are some games that you like to play. And those could be board games, or those could be video games. But you wanna make sure that you're writing all of those things down so many years from now, you'll be able to look back and remember all of those things. You're not gonna believe me when I tell you this as a kid, but as you get older, you sometimes do forget these things. So this letter to future self, your future self will help ensure that you'll be able to remember these things when you are a grown up. Some other things that you might wanna include in your letter to your future self are things that you dislike. Um, that kind of goes back to my tomato example. Um, there were lots of things that I didn't like. I didn't like cleaning my room when I was uh, a kid at all. I would, I would avoid it um, at all costs. And now it's not that I love cleaning my room, but boy, I love it when my bed is made every morning. And I love it when all of my clothes are hang, hung up in my closet neatly. Did not like that as a kid but I'm all over it now as a grown up. And it's fun to look back and remember those kinds of things about myself as a kid, okay? Another thing to include in your letter to your future self is some information about your family right now. I found an old journal of mine that I wrote when I was in fifth grade. And in that journal, I was talking about my brother when he was two years old. 
And it was so fun to see how I was describing him as a two-year-old. Because right now, um, my brother is one of my most favorite people in the world. Um, and to see how I was describing him as a baby was really, really fun. So tell your future self what your family is like right now. I also hope that in your letter to your future self, you will include, oh, my document camera went to sleep, that you will include your hopes and dreams. And when I say hopes and dreams, that can really be anything that it, you want it to be. It could be things that you hope to do when we can go back to school and that we're not learning at home anymore. They could be hopes for things that are coming years from now. They could also be hopes for things that you think you might want to be when you grow up. Okay, I'll leave that up to you. These are only some of the things that you could write about in your letter to your future self, but I think all of them would be interesting. It's also a little hard to imagine right now as a kid that you would forget anything um, at this moment in time and what you're living. But I'm going to tell you that as you get older, sometimes you do forget the little details. And I promise you, I promise, that if you write this letter and in 10, 15, 20 years, the more time that passes, you'll be so happy that you took the time to write this note. You will love looking back and seeing who exactly you were, what kind of kid you were at this moment in time. So writers, I hope that you'll write this letter today. But if you decide that today is not the day that you want to take this letter on, then that's okay. Writers have to make choices all of the time. I do hope that sometime while we're home, that you will write this letter in your journal for yourself. And if this just doesn't do it today, you can always go back and you can choose another idea or any other idea that you have from this list or like I said, any other idea that you might have. Okay, so writers, I'll just leave this right here. So if you want to uh, pause this video, it will be waiting for you to help you think through this. Um, but that's it for this time. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you very soon. Off you go. Hi writers, I hope you liked Mrs. B's lesson as much as I did. Wasn't that a great idea to write a letter to your future self? There's so much I want to remember about this time when we've been at home and I know that in five, 10, 20 years, I'll forget all about it. So I gave it a try and I wanted to show you what I did in hopes that it'll help you to get started on your letter. So here's the start of mine. And what I tried to do is I addressed it to myself, dear Tammy, and then I tried to begin my letter a little bit with what, how life is different from now. So listen as I read it so you can hear that. It is May 18th, 2020, and I have been cooped up at my home since March 16th, 2020. During these eight weeks, life has changed so much. Instead of going to schools and teaching alongside my teaching friends, I now teach writing camp lessons online from my living room. Instead of going to the movies, visiting friends, and eating at restaurants, I stay home and see my friends and family through a screen. Did you see that, writers? I tried to do a little bit about what life was like before and what life is like now to capture that because I don't think I'll remember it. That might be a tip you want to try or not. Now, these next two paragraphs, what I did was when Mrs. B said, think about what are your favorite things, what you love right now in life. I was like, okay, I'm going to write about that. So here I go. Even though life is different, there are many things to enjoy each day. Baking has become a special event. Every Tuesday, my friend Mrs. Kennedy and I bake cookies together. Now, she is at her house and I am at mine, but that doesn't matter. We call each other on FaceTime and we cook the same recipe at the same time. I've made peanut butter and chocolate chip cookies, crinkle cookies, and even salted shortbread cookies. You see how I tried to give a few little details there about what we do together so I could remember? Now my next one. I've also loved making things. I've written poems, letters, and short stories about Ranger and Hoppy. The writing pieces I've created help me remember the little events that happened with Hoppy and Ranger. And now writers, I talk right to myself. Look at this, I put my name there. Tammy, please read the Hopper and, write and Ranger writing pieces you wrote during this time so that you can remember how much the dogs made you laugh. Did you see writers what I did right there? That I took my, I took what Mrs. B said and I started my letter by talking about what, what life was like before, 
we were all staying at home and what life is like now that we are at home. And then I took just two favorite things and I tried to give some examples of what I do and what I want to remember. And then, did you see how I, I talked, I, I spoke right to myself, right, in writing. And I said, and I asked myself to do something that I, I want myself to remember. So give that a try, writers. Right now at home, grab either your notebook, a piece of paper, or even a digital device, and sit down and think about that chart that Mrs. B showed you. Tomorrow I'll show you a little bit more of my letter, and, um, and we'll keep adding to it. So happy writing, writers.